So, young men and young women, wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are doing, inshallah, for the sake of humanity and sake of Allah. Why I am talking to you today? I am talking to you because I believe in each and every one of you. I am talking to you because you are the reality of life. I am talking to you because you are the future generation that will make life happy for everyone and you bring peace and tranquility to everybody on this planet. I am talking to you because I trust you and I believe in you and I can see that you will be able to achieve what you fail to achieve. And to succeed what you fail to succeed and to produce what you fail to produce as your fathers and mothers. Why I'm standing here in Kenya, in Kalifi area, to look at this? What is this? What is this behind me? This is the Indian Ocean, or some part of the Indian Ocean. I came here especially with an intention to talk to the ocean, because I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the ocean, the seas, the stars, the moons, the, 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 the mountains, the land, to serve you, to serve you to serve each and every one of you. So I came here to communicate and to have a dialogue with the Indian Ocean. I came here to listen to him when he tells me the stories of the millions of people who crossed and came to this side of the world. Over the last hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of people coming from Asia, coming from Africa, coming from different parts of the world. They came here, some of them succeeded and were saved some of them died during the journey, some of them actually failed to make it, and some of them came and make the change, and some of them came and crossed, and they could not be able to make the change and live like any other people, but they did not become the change maker. These stories is being written between the, 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 droplet, the drops of water of the ocean itself, of the, of the, of the, of the ocean itself. This is what the ocean will tell you about. We keep telling you about how many of those people manage to cross, how many of those people manage to build to cross, how many of these people travel from the thousands and thousands and thousands of miles to come here and to make a change. Today why we are talking to you, we are talking about how can you become the change maker, how you become the life saver, how you become the life maker as well. How you become the people who can lead humanity to safety and peace. And this is our message today. Our message is to become a change maker. Our message is to become a life saver. Our message is to become a life maker. Our message is to become a breaker of the world record which has been broken by other people before us. And this is you, because my trust and my belief in each and every one of you will lead me to travel these thousands of miles and to dream, to talk to the ocean, and to enjoy the ocean listening to me. And not only the ocean is listening to me, there's many creations of God surrounding me nowadays. At this moment, as I speak, whether inside the ocean itself, or music around me. You cannot see it, but we believe that it stands to support all of us. You want to become a change maker? One thing to do first, you clean, we clean our hearts, and we make our heart clean, Never give up. This is the third point. Third point, never lose hope. 
never ever lose hope. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and never ever give up. Never ever give up. Never ever give up. Number four is don't ever be distracted by what you have seen by those people who are trying to corrupt and, and corrupt humanity and spoil humanity and create corrupt system on earth. Those people are very wicked. Those people are worse than actually the, 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 the most effective come to steal the resources of the poor people in different countries. Stand against them, guide them, and stop them from spoiling our planet, from spoiling and stealing the resources of the poor people. Number five is be a brother and the sister to every human being. Every human being to every human being. Don't make barrier between you and them. You are a human being, the son of Adam, and she is a human being, the daughter of Adam, and you are a human being, the son of daughter of Adam. Try to look at us as human beings. Try to look at us as numbers and figures and uh, uh, number of houses or uh, uh, pair of shoes and others. This is number five. Look at others as you brother and sister. Number six, don't be depressed by what you see done by the wicked people who try to destroy the planet and control the planet. Don't be, don't be distracted and upset by what's happening in Palestine, what's happening in Tibet, what's happening in Europe, in China, what's happening in Berlin, what's happening in Yemen, what's happening in the Republic of Congo, what's happening in the Central African Republic, what's happening in Africa, in Sahara, what's happening actually in Maya, what's happening in Mozambique, others, all this as well as what's happening in Gaza, all this as well as others of the just and unjust situation affecting these many, many, many people, whether they are Muslims or not Muslims, whether they are Muslims or not Muslims, African or Asian or European or American, whatever you call them, stand up for them, never, 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 never become the president and change your anger and change your You have to have a project to live for. You have to have a project. What's your project? What's your project? What's your project? The first step will let you to cross the ocean. The first step will let you to go to the moon. The first step will let you to climb the highest mountain. The first step will let you to be able to, to, to discover the treasure in the depth of the land and take it to humanity to enjoy it. Start with the first step. The first step is the most difficult step. Save humanity, save the planet. Number 10 is the last one. Is actually, so what is the price of this? What, what I am going to get out of it? What I am going to get out of all what I said? The satisfaction 